Bingo, bango, bongo. All right, y'all ready? Today, we got a new session for you. And you know me, I don't like to play no games. We got to get to it. We're going to get ready for today because today is going to be one of our best fitness routines. So if you're at home on that seat, you better get your tail up off that seat and get ready. Now, I know you probably want to run in there, grab something to drink. Make sure it's something that's going to hydrate you, water, Gatorade, or whichever, as long as it's something that's going to hydrate you because you're going to need it. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to do lunges. We're going to work out the legs. Make sure you get your lunges correct. Try to do a proper stance when you're walking. Also, we're going to do squats. It's just this squat is going to be a little different. We're not going to just go down and come up. We're going to squat and then step inside in the middle, feet together, then go back down. So it's going to be kind of like a double. And then also, we're going to do the workout that y'all saw before with Sonny Man. He was doing the running place. We're going to add that. I need everybody to do that. That's the one that's going to wear you down, but it's going to get you right. All right? Now let's get this thing started. Let's go. Okay, guys. We're going to start off with the lunges. We're going to do three sets of lunges. Now, with me, I do have long legs, so I'm probably going to only get maybe three, four steps out of mine. We're going to go forward and then come back. That's one. Then forward, back, two, forward, back, three. We want to do five. We want to do three sets of five. All right? Now, if you've got some weights at home, grab them. Try to get something that's not too heavy. You want to just be able to hold something with some weight in it as you're doing the lunges. If you don't, that's okay. Just do the lunges without the weight. All right, let's go. Two, three. See, I only got three because of my long legs. All right, that's one. And going back. That's two. Three. On back. That's four. Last one. All right, that's five. Okay, catch yourself a little breather. We're gonna go right into the next one. Give yourself about 30 seconds. After that, I'm gonna jump right back into the next set. Don't sit down, I know you see that, that couch right there and you want to sit on it, don't do it. You want to grab those Oreos, let them go. We're gonna do this for now, this is more important. This is what's gonna get you right. Mental toughness this is what we're looking for. All right. We all ready? Let's go. That's one. That's two. Three. Four. All right, last one. All right, and that's five. Good, good. Feel like you couldn't complete don't let your mind overwhelm you to where it gets you to stop if you weren't able to complete that's okay but make sure you go as far as you possibly can the motive is to do as much as you possibly can do because if you give up you're only cheating yourself you're really just at school sitting at a desk and you got that test the teacher gave you 
you got a 69 and you cheated on the test. Well, go ahead and get a passing grade of a 75 or better. And then you didn't even copy nobody's answers. You use your own test. All right, last set, let's go. Back. That's one. Don't let me hear about anybody quitting. That's two. That's three. We got two more to go, come on. Hang in there. That's four, last one. Give it all you got. If you're giving up, pick it up. Get that energy that you don't know where it's at. It's somewhere in there. That's five. All right. Now. Don't quit, you did great. And you know one thing that we always do, anytime you finish a set and you do a great job, you gotta do one thing for me. Pose. Always remember the pose, that's the most important. That pose is the motivation that's gonna push you to the next level. And if you're gonna get there, you gotta keep the poses right, and you gotta keep going even when it gets hard. Don't forget, always hit that like and subscribe button and also, also, leave your comments at the bottom. If you think of something that I don't do, you wanna put it into the workouts, that's fine. I'm, I'm all opening ears. Hit the like and subscribe button, leave your comments. All right, we're gonna get ready and go into the next set. In the next set, we're gonna do the squats. We're gonna go squat down, and then squat close. All right, let's go. All right, guys. Now we're going into the squat. We're gonna go, not like a basic squat, where we just go here and down, which is good, it's very good. This time we're gonna change it a little bit. We're gonna go here, hands crossed, down, we're gonna to step together, and then down. Then back out, down, then together, down. All right, now we're gonna do three sets of seven, so, uh, well, of eight, because we're gonna go one, two, that's equals one uh, complete. So to, to get a full complete, we're gonna go eight. So we're three sets of eight, all right? We're gonna spread out first, wide spread. Count of three, two, one. Going down, together. Down, back together. Two, down. Down, together, three, down, wide, together, four. Wide, five, together, six. Wide, together, seven. Wide, and together, eight. All right, so now get your rest. You only need a 15 second break. Get that 15 second break, we're gonna do another set. Count it off. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs out, down, together, down. That's one. Down, together, down. Two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. All right. Great job. You're probably feeling in your thighs. You're probably feeling in your glutes. Oh, that's excellent. That's what you want to feel. Get another 15 second break 
and then we're gonna jump right back into it. All right, count off. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Down, together, 1. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You guys did great. That only means one thing. I know you want to pat yourself on the back. So what do we do when we pat ourselves on the back? You know what we do. We pose. Make sure you do your poses. I don't want to find out that you ain't been doing your poses. Make sure you get your poses right. You want to send me a photo of the pose? Go ahead. But make sure you get that pose right. That's the most important. That's what's going to get you to be motivated. It's going to make you feel good. Make you want to do more about your workout. Where you're going to keep going and you're not going to stop. We don't want to give up. Get up off that couch. Don't let that couch make you a couch potato. Get, get into that gym. This is where it's at. You, that gym is just in your living room, it's in your bedroom, wherever it's at. Make sure you use it as your gym, all right? Now let's get into our last set. We're gonna use the dumbbells and we're gonna run in place. You don't gotta go nowhere. This is just a two minute finale. You're gonna run in, play, run in place for two minutes. Don't quit. If you gotta put the weights down, just to keep running with your arms because you can't hold it up, that's fine. But do not quit. All right, let's go. Okay, everybody, got the weights. If you got weights at home, go get them. If you don't, find something that's got some kind of weight for it. We're gonna run in place, not moving. Only the arms are moving. If you don't have any weights, hey, I want you to use your arms in place. Just keep running in place. No matter what, it's all about consistency and keeping the workout going. Don't quit on me. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Two minutes. It's gonna be easy, you're gonna be like, oh man, it's not that hard. Not that, that big of a deal. You know what, mega time, mega, it's just a big old deal. It ain't that hard. Well, when you get to about a minute and a half, a minute, 40 seconds, Things change. They change abruptly, very fast. You'll find out very shortly. But if anything, I don't want to hear about anyone quitting. Nobody giving up. Keep on running in place. Keep those arms pumping. Don't stop and get some water. Don't stop and go to the kitchen. Get some chicken, some chitlins. We don't got time for that. Gotta keep going. Keep those arms moving. Okay, guys. Coming up on one minute. All right, one more minute to go. That's it. Think about it as like it's your last minute in your life. You wouldn't quit. You would keep going no matter what. You fight for everything that you got. You'd be so determined, there would be nothing that could stop you. And that's what I need you to be. I need you to be so determined that you don't quit. There is nothing that will stop you. Nothing in your way. You keep on pushing. Okay, guys? We got about 30 seconds left. All right. It's almost like a marathon. You've been running all day, and now you see the finish line. But guess what? You can't quit when you get right before the finish line. You got to go get it. Go get that finish line. Push it. 15 seconds. Let's go. Let me see all you got. Come on. Come on. Everything. Five, four, three, two, one. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. Pat yourself on the back. Well, you ain't got to do it like you do it in school. You know what I do. Pose. Get your pose right. That pose is going to keep you going. It's going to get you through that hard workout. Those hard times. You might have picked the kids up from school. They were being bad, acting up. You were frustrated. 
Or maybe somebody at work frustrated you, made you mad. Don't go out on them and fight them. Don't whoop your kids because they were frustrated. Well, I mean, sometimes you might have to discipline, but use this to let out that energy, to let out that, that anger if it's inside of you, let it out. Use this for your health mentally, physically. Keep going, never quit. Don't forget, like um, the page and subscribe uh, to the channel. Don't ever forget, like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know how you're doing and keep your poses coming. All right, guys.